Hey, what's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development, and today I'm going to show you how to mix with syringes for beginners. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so thank you for clicking on this video. So I hope if you're clicking on this video, you're new to DIY or you're contemplating getting started in DIY. And today, I wanted to have one of my all-day vapes. I ran out, so I'm like, hey, why not mix it by syringes and make a video about it to teach newcomers how to do it? So let me break everything down for you really simply so y you can understand it and it's not as overwhelming. Okay, let's go first by the core ingredients in e-liquid. In e-liquid, there is VG, which is vegetable glycerin, PG, which is propylene glycol, concentrated flavorings, which are water soluble, and those are the same kind of flavorings that go into cooking, baking, candies, stuff like that. And then the fourth optional ingredient is, of course, nicotine. Now, nicotine isn't necessary to make an e-liquid. Really, the only thing that's necessary to make an e-liquid is probably VG. But those are the four main components of making an e-liquid. So today, we're going to be mixing with syringes, and it's called mixing by volume. All right, so let me talk about where I get all these supplies and where I think you should get all these supplies. All right, the first thing, let's go over the bases. The bases are considered to be propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and nicotine. Those are the bases, and then you have flavorings, okay? But let's start with the bases. First, we have propylene glycol. That looks like that. Same thing. The VG looks the same, and the nicotine will look the same. Now, I get all my bases from Liquid Barn. Liquid Barn carries Nick Select Nicotine, and they also carry very high-quality vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol. Now, when you're first starting out, you may not want to mix your own uh, bases. You may might not want to deal with having to deal with nicotine, propylene glycol, and vegetable glycerin. And in that case, you can get something like this right here, which is everything mixed into one. This is a zero milligram blend, but this has the propylene glycol in it, the vegetable glycerin, and if you were to get nicotine, it would have nicotine in it. So say you vape three milligrams, you could get it all mixed up in one where you don't have to worry about that. And this is an 80-20 blend. So it's already blended for you. All you pretty much have to do is follow the correct measurements and pour it in. So you don't have to worry about each ingredient. But for today, I am going to be using each ingredient uh, to make it easier. Now, with the nicotine. The nicotine, if you're deciding to go nicotine separate and do your bases separate... Uh, you have the options to get it in like uh, 12 milligram, 48 milligram, maybe 70 milligram, and 100 milligram. So you have quite a variety of the strength of nicotine. But the thing when you're handling nicotine, you want to be very careful because at the higher concentrations, it is considered a poison. So you want to make sure you're at least wearing gloves when you're mixing with it. And you want to keep it away from children and pets and avoid contact with any of your skin or eyes or anything. Don't get it on you. I mean, it's not that big of a deal as long as you follow the proper safety precautions. Other than that, it's fine. I deal with it on a daily basis. It's not a big deal. You just want to make sure you're slowing yourself down and you're taking it seriously. Kind of like, it's about the same risk as if, like, uh, you're boiling hot water. You have boiling hot water. You don't want to get that on your hand. Now, boiling hot water may not kill you, but it's going to hurt a lot. Same kind of potential with getting nicotine on your skin. It might not necessarily kill you, but it may make you very sick. Or it could kill you. Same thing with boiling water i mean if it's a large amount but you get the idea i think that's the best analogy boiling water okay so you got the bases covered i get all my bases from liquid barn liquid barn has high quality bases which is the propylene glycol vegetable glycerin and nicotine now next up is the flavorings now for the flavorings where to start there are so many flavorings 
you don't know what you want to mix up, where do you start? Okay, first of all, my favorite place, and I have been to quite a few different vendors for flavorings, okay? But out of all of them, and now you can get flavorings from Liquid Barn too, but more widely used ones aren't from Liquid Barn, but they do have some great flavors. But let me tell you what the mainstream does in the DIY community. They get other branded flavors like Capella, Flavor West, TFA, and these are all flavoring manufacturers. Now, my favorite place to go would probably be Bull City Flavors. Now, I've been to Eseg Express, Bull City Flavors, Wizard Labs. I've been to a lot of them. But my favorite is Bull City Flavors because not only do they have quality products, they have a great selection but they're also fast and reliable. Every single package I've gotten has all the contents of my order. It comes super fast. They process it in like hours sometimes and it comes within a couple days. Like they're just really good and on their game. I've never had any problem getting anything damaged. Like they're just the go-to company in my opinion for flavors. Frankly, if they had uh, nicotine and all that, I'd probably buy everything from them. But for the bases, I usually go through Liquid Barn and Bull City for the flavors. Okay, so now back to how do you know which flavors to get? I mean, there are so many. Like, it's it, it's really hard to sort through. What I suggest you do, and I'm going to make another video about top flavors where I think beginners should get in another video. But if I haven't made it by the time you're seeing this, what I suggest you do is you go onto a site called eliquidrecipes.com I will link it in the description and you go to that site to the front and then hit this thing that says ratings on the top just click on it and that will bring up all the highest rated recipes now once you find a recipe on that list after you hit that rated button if you find something that meets your favorite pro flavor profile say you always vape strawberry and cream or you always vape cinnamon vapes or Whatever it is you vape and you find a recipe you like that's highly rated. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at that recipe. And get every single flavor that's on that recipe. And then that's probably the most economical way to start out. You know you'll be getting flavors for something that you can vape, enjoy, and it'll save you tons of money. Alright, so now, now that I explained to you where to get your flavors how you might want to start when you first start DIY, how you might want to think about what flavors you want. Again, looking at that, or I'm going to make a video in the future. Now, you're asking me, what are these recipes? What am I looking at? What are all these numbers? What do I do? At least, if I was new, that's what I'd be thinking. Now, when you're making e-liquid, a lot of people who are mixers like to use what are called e-liquid calculators. Now, e-liquid calculators are basically uh, calculators that you list off your ingredients or the ingredients that you want to build up into a recipe, and then they're chosen by percentages. Now, there's a reason why we use percentages when we're making recipes, because no matter what size of a batch we're making, say we're making a 10 milliliter batch, a 30 milliliter batch, a 120 milliliter batch, that percentage is always going to stay the same. So when you're building a recipe, you get to know your flavors and you get to know how they're going to interact with each other at what percentages. And with those percentages, you use them until you find a recipe you enjoy and then you finalize your recipe and then you mix it up. But the thing is, and I hope I'm making sense, but the thing is, is it's, it's a lot of trial and error and it's getting to know your flavors. Like maybe this will help. Say for example, you got uh, Capella Strawberry Taffy right here, okay? And Capella Strawberry Taffy uh, is by Capella, which is a stronger flavor manufacturer. Everybody knows Capella makes stronger flavors than, say, a company like TFA or Flavor West. Therefore, usually there's a 5% rule when you're testing flavors. You just want to mix up this single flavor at 5% and then the rest base and you want to sample test it and then you get to know how the flavors interact and that's what's called flavor testing. Now, opposed to other companies like Capella 
it might be 3%, or or uh, Flavora, it might be 1% you want to try those at, because they're more concentrated of flavorings. But each flavoring has certain percentages that are recommended to be used at. And a lot of that is trial and error. Also, there's great resources on DIY, like uh, DIY or Die, my channel, um, e liquidrecipes.com, uh, the eju subreddit, or the uh, DIY eLiquid subreddit. But there are a lot of resources that explain all these flavors or have flavor notes on certain flavors where you can get suggested recommended mixing percentages. Now again, taste is subjective, so say a percentage that is recommended to you might not work for me or vice versa. But that's another thing for another day, and I really don't want to overload you with this. I just want to kind of give you a background on how the whole process works. Now, just to skip over a little step, I'll make that flavor list on recommended flavors that I suggest on my channel another day, but it will be on there, so keep a lookout for that. But to talk about the e-liquid calculator, for now, I'm going to update my e-liquid calculator video, but I have a very great e-liquid calculator video on my channel if you have any questions about how to use that and you're questioning about percentages and all that, you might want to check out that video. So, now that I explained the bases to you and the flavors to you, where to get the flavors, where to get the bases, now let's mix by syringes. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're mixing by syringes is... You want to make sure you have all your syringes, but also you want to make sure you wear your gloves. I think the better practice is just be safe, wear gloves. But what you do in your own home is your own thing, but when you're handling nicotine, you're not going to want to get that on your skin. Alrighty. Now, when you're buying syringes, you want to buy syringes that are called blunt tip syringes, okay? They look like this. They don't have a point on them. They're not going to hurt you. Now, in this video, I am using syringes all here that have needles on them. They're not blunt tip, but what you should buy and what, what most of these places I told you sell are blunt tip syringes. The only reason is I forgot to order some and I really want to make this video for you guys. So I got some from the pharmacy. I mean, they still work, but you just got to be careful not to poke yourself. That's the, that's the biggest problem with them. But I mean, either syringe will work, but I recommend getting blunt tip syringes. And all these flavor places like the Liquid Barn, they will sell these. And I believe Bull City Flavors also sells syringes. Me personally, I'm a mix by weight person. So I don't use syringes too often, but I still want to make this video to have a variety on my channel. So now that we went over what type of syringes you should use, let me show you how to draw up on it. So I have most of all these syringes already filled up to speed up the process a little bit, but I'm going to show you with the toasted marshmallow. Now, when you get your flavors, you want to shake them up very well, okay? Today, we're making my strawberry airhead recipe. This is a phenomenal recipe. It's good right off the bat after you shake it, and it's even better after a week. But what you want to do when you get all your concentrates is shake them very well. Okay, now I'm going to do the syringe method. I call this the Fresh 03 method because I learned this from him. So I don't do syringes too much. But what you want to do is take your syringe. Hold on, let me get the camera up. Okay, what you want to do is you want to take your syringe and you want to kind of just plunge it up a halfway okay so once you're plunged up a halfway that way you'll be able to see 
um, all the liquid going in exactly without getting all the air bubbles, okay? You'll be able to make exact measurements. I really like that concept, and I've learned that from him. So that was something good Fresh told me. All right, so shake your concentrates very well, and then you just want to open it up. All right, and these have droppers on them, but this gauge needle, it will fit right in the hole like so and basically what you do is you tip it upside down and you just plunge and this calls for 0.66 so what you have to do is just plunge the needle till liquid starts coming in Right, now we're gonna look almost there, a little bit more. It's okay if you have to squirt some back in to get an exact measurement. Yep, see how I went over right there? You just squirt it back in. And there you have it. Yeah. See, if you look, and it's hard, kind of hard from this angle, but it's one notch above the half a mil mark. And that means it's about 0.66. All right. So once you do that, you got your toasted marshmallow. You just put it in like so and just push down. And there you go. Your toasted marshmallow is in. All right, so that's basically how you draw up on a needle. So I'm just gonna cover that up and put it to the side. Now let's speed this process up, okay? So the first ingredient we have, we got the salt water taffy, I already put it in. And the salt water taffy here called for 1.2 milliliters, okay? So if you see, there's 1.2 milliliters already in that syringe. You're just gonna put it in. There you go, 1.2. All right, just cover that up. Be careful with the needles. Next up is the strawberry ripe. So I'm gonna grab the strawberry ripe. Again, it's another one that's 1.2, already in the syringe. And put it in the bottle, plunge it in. There we go. Followed by Strawberry Taffy by Capella. There we go. 0.6. Okay. That was Strawberry Sweet by Capella. Now this is Strawberry Taffy right here all already in the needle but basically you just draw it up like I showed you there's really nothing to it and just put every flavor in now this is the last ingredient this is sweetener this is super sweet that's all you do now once you have all your flavors in after following the recipe which the recipe is probably on the screen I probably screenshot it and put it on the screen for you but now once you do that, it's time for your nicotine. And the nicotine in this liquid calls for, uh, I'm doing a three milligram. So for milliliters, it needs 0.9 milliliters of nicotine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a syringe and I'm gonna take the nicotine and I'm gonna put it in. But what you wanna do is when you use some concentrated nicotine like this, you wanna make sure you shake it very, very well. Okay, you don't want hot spots in there. You don't want hot spots in there. All right. So what you want to do is open it and just be very careful not to get this on you. 
All right. Now we're going to do point 0.9. And I went a little bit over. Here we go. 0.9 of the nicotine. Just get in there and be very careful. Just squirt in. Just squirt in. That's all you do. Put that to a side where you're not going to touch it. Close off your nicotine right away. You want to keep oxygen out of your nicotine as much as possible. And now I'm going to do a max VG blend today. So all I'm going to do is fill it up. So you just fill it up all the way. You could do this by syringe too, but since I'm doing max VG, it's really not necessary. And you just fill the bottle the rest of the way. What you may want to do too is leave some room to shake. That looks good to me because I want some room to shake this bad boy. All right, so you close up your VG. You take your little topper part right here. Close it off. Cover it up. And you just want to shake it very well. Just shake it very well. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how you mix by volume, by syringes. It's really not that hard at all. And now you get a premium e-liquid. And especially this one. This one's a shake and vape. You can vape this right away. You ran out of liquid, you need something to vape. You just mix it up and boom, you got some liquid. No worrying about not having liquid here. So I hope this guy has helped you off for the beginner. I really want to cater for people who want to know how to mix by syringes and by volume. I hope this helped. I hope it wasn't too much information or too confusing. Um, I got more great videos and tutorials on my channel, so make sure you check them out if you are new to DIY. Also, keep a lookout for that for that video about my most recommended flavorings for beginners. Also, I have an e-liquid video calculator on my channel. It's an excellent excellent resource if you're wondering how to use an e-liquid calculator and yeah please subscribe if you're new here and hit that bell for notifications if you have any questions or comments leave it down in the comments below if you like this video hit the like button and also stay tuned because i'm about to announce a giveaway on my channel for 100k subscribers so thank you guys so very much for watching and you guys have yourselves a great day peace